fracking, fracking, cracking snack. There are no words for you, just out of a gun Laid low like I said so. Think about that while you're sitting on your dead ass. Next time, duck. Hat? No hat. And we'll need that later during the reassembly. All right, for this next part, you're going to need a T9 or a T10 uh, Torx screwdriver. Um, I have a T9 and a T9, a T10 somewhere. Uh, I, I prefer the um, T10, so I'm going to use that because actually the size of the screws are probably a T11. So you could probably use a T9, T10, or T11. Um, that's probably going to fit, um, you know, go out and buy a T9 because then you can take apart the controllers too, which I'll probably put up another tutorial in case you want to mod those or anything. Um, so here we go. We're taking off these, um, they're kind of flat screws. Um, I don't know if you can really see this or not, but these screws here, they're kind of like a, a brass colored and they're more rounded. We're not taking those out yet. The screws we're taking out right now is these uh, silver screws, and they're kind of flat on the top and flat on the sides, aside from being round. But the other screws, the brass screws that we are not taking out, are more rounded and um, like almost beveled. So we're not taking out the brass screws. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six six silver screws that we're going to be taking out. Um, they're pretty long screws, so it might uh, take a while, you know. So just, you can start wherever, it doesn't matter. Um, make sure you have somewhere to put your screws. Um, they're pretty long, so you shouldn't lose them, but just put them somewhere, somewhere where you know that they're going to be. So here is what the uh, top of that screw looks like if my camera would focus. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah. That's what the top of the screw looks like. Um, and you can see it's pretty flat. So the other screws, you'll notice it. It's, uh, they're pretty round. So we're taking out the silver screws, not the brass screws. that one go. And I will, uh, I should have a picture somewhere of the locations of these screws. Um, uh, I'll try to find one of those or take one myself. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. There's only six of them, I think. One, two, yeah, six. Um, all right, so now what you're gonna do is carefully holding both sides, you're gonna flip your Xbox over so the plastic side is up, and um, then you're just gonna pull up. Your eject button will get in the way, so you're gonna carefully lift that up because that's on a separate plastic uh, structure. So there you go, that's your top cover of your Xbox, and again, same thing, if it's coated in dust, um, you know, give it a nice vacuum or a can of air, um, and to just put that aside. All right, so here's your Xbox, DVD drive, um, CPU, uh, CPU heatsink actually, um, fan, actually air shroud, and then two fans in the back. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, be careful, you know, obviously if you got this far, then you think you know what you're doing, and, uh, um, be careful at ESD, electrostatic discharge, um, you know, it's getting pretty cold out here in America, so, um, if you're wearing wool socks, don't go, you know, touching the inside of your console without grounding yourself to the case first, or wearing an anti-static wrist strap, um, that's pretty much it. So if you want to take out your DVD drive, let's say that your DVD drive has failed, and, uh, you know how to flash it and do all that other stuff, quite simply, you're just gonna go right here, pull it out, and then disconnect the SATA cable and then the other cable. It's power or something like that. Um, put it aside, put the new one in, flash it, do all that stuff. Um, there's actually a little bit of corrosion on my uh, heat sink right there. That's kind of weird. Um, 
So then, let's say you want to buy a new heat sink or put new fans in, um, you're going to, going to, I should start pronouncing my words correctly, um, there's a little clip right there, take it out. Again, I would recommend cleaning this thing. Some of these things get really caked in dust. You can see right there, I've got a little bit of dust, but not a lot. Um, you know, just clean all this stuff. Um, I actually don't really know how to get these fans in here. Um, I don't know if they use a regular three pin connector, but it's got four wires. Um, it's a uh, one piece, but two fans. So then there you go, there's the inside of your console, and I will zoom in on that. So right now you're going to be looking at the heat sinks, multiple, and the fans right up there. Then your SATA cord and power connector, and then um, everything else. Alright, so the reason that you don't want to um, take apart or take out those um, those bronze, I'm sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. The reason you don't want to take apart, I, I just said bronze, these are brass. Um, the reason you don't want to take apart these brass colored screws is because if you do that, you will actually have your motherboard fall out on you and that's not really a good thing. And then the reason you don't want to take out these uh, eight black screws right there is the reason is because um, that will make your heatsink fall out, and then you'll have to get out your thermal paste and stuff like that, and then put that all back together. Um, so now putting it back together, um, after you've uh, cleaned it out or done whatever you want to do, well, it's a part. Um, you're going to simply uh, place all your things back together. Uh, heatsink goes first. That goes around all that stuff. there. Um, most of this stuff is really straightforward. Um, first time I did this it was pretty cool because stuff is almost outlined on where it goes. I mean like this stuff's just gonna line up and it's either not gonna fit or it's not gonna work. Um, so then you're gonna plug in your SATA again or plug in your SATA after you unplugged it I guess. Um, plug in your power seat your hard, uh, CD drive right there and there's this little uh, clip I'll show that in a second um, there's a little clip uh, right there this little this part right here this actually gets in the way when you're taking it out so you're just gonna want to lift it up and then uh, put it back down when you're placing it back in um, that's pretty much it for that What's going on here? This doesn't fit. I probably broke it. All right. That's still not fit. There we go. All right. So all that stuff kind of it fits in just right. You know, you're gonna notice it if it's if something's off balance or whatever. Um, so then you're gonna go ahead and put on your top cover. Totally backwards, alright. Um, that just slides on. Once again, your eject button will uh, get in the way. So you're going to want to do that. And then make sure it's on there. And then place your screws back in. So one, two, Three, four, five, six. And then you're going to want to tighten those with your T9, T10, T11, whatever you got. Tighten it with that. So make sure they're nice and tight because you uh, probably don't want this coming apart when you're gaming or anything. Um, pretty simple stuff. Beruto! Beruto!